Hey what is going on everyone this is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about charging the iPhone the proper way. Now of course there are different ways you can charge your iPhone and different practices that you can use. Some of them will be good of course some of them will be really really bad for your iPhone's battery and battery health which of course then will have a huge impact also on the iPhone's performance. That way, of course, it will have a huge impact on your experience using your iPhone on a daily basis. So in this video, I will show you guys the best practices that you should use when it comes to charging your iPhone and make sure that you have great battery life and great battery health on your iPhone. All right, first of all, we're talking about wireless charging. Now, I never use wireless charging on my iPhone, even though I have a wireless charger. The reason I don't is because it's slower and of course most of the time you will interrupt it because you need to take a look at your iPhone or something you will have to pick up your iPhone from the charger that way it will charge really really slow. Another thing is that it will heat up the iPhone. Most wireless chargers will actually heat up the iPhone quite a lot that way will also damage the battery of your iPhone. You know that extreme temperatures like extreme heat or extreme cold are very very bad for your iPhone's battery and for any other devices any device that has a lithium ion battery the heat and of course the extreme cold will be really really bad so in my opinion you should avoid wireless charging as much as possible and now let's move on to some battery charging myths which a lot of people believe are true and one of them is that you cannot use your iPhone while it's charging. That's not true at all. Of course as long as you have a genuine charger it is not a problem that you use your iPhone while it's charging. Of course it might charge a bit slower because your iPhone is charging but it, at the same time it is using battery power and of course it is char basically discharging a bit and charging but that won't have such a big impact if you're not doing any like heavy tasks on your iPhone while it's charging which of course is another small problem if you're doing something like gaming or something and it's charging you might feel your iPhone getting heat up a bit and that's bad so avoid heating up your iPhone while it's charging at all costs. Another thing is that you cannot charge your iPhone overnight. That's very very safe to do. A lot of people think that the battery will overcharge. That's not possible. The battery won't overcharge and it's pretty safe to charge your iPhone overnight. That's not a problem. The only thing I suggest you should do is always make sure that you have the battery optimized battery charging turned on. If you charge your iPhone overnight, this will be a lifesaver. You can see more than a year, 96% of battery health right there. That's amazing. And of course, always keeping optimized battery charging on, especially if you charge your iPhone overnight and another thing is fast charging a lot of people think that fast charging your iphone will damage the battery actually it will not as long as again you use a genuine charger and a genuine cable on your iphone that's not a problem fast charging won't damage your iphone's battery at all and now let's move on to the best practices that you should follow when charging your iphone and first of all is as i said at the beginning always use certified chargers if you get a cheap charger from like different stores and stuff like that that might actually damage your iphone they might even be risky so you can see charges that are actually very very cheap don't buy them always make sure to use your apple's charger your apple's iphone charger cables and all that or just use certified chargers you know that apple certifies different chargers of course you can use with the iphone so always make sure that you have the original iphone cable or charger from apple or have a certified one that will be safe to use and of course if you're using that then you can use your iphone while it's charging your iphone probably won't heat up while it's charging and all that so always make sure that the charger is certified or an original apple charger another practice that you should actually use every time on your iphone is not let your iphone fully discharge now the way i use my iphone i let it discharge at around 20 percent maybe 25 around that ballpark i don't let it go down to like five or two or even shut down completely don't ever do that that's not really good for the battery health of your iphone so always make sure you charge your iphone like just charge it like a few times at a day maybe like when it goes down to 20 percent, you can charge it up to 60 or 70 then of course it goes back down you can charge it again because a lot of people think that it's better letting your iphone battery die down and then charge 
charge it up to 100%. That's not the best practice. Always make sure to charge your iPhone during the day, not more than 80%. And then of course, during the night, leave it on to charge. But of course, always make sure that you have optimized battery charging turned on while you do that. The next thing you should do is of course, never let your iPhone heat up while it's charging. Now, if you have like a case, like a bulk case that will heat up your iPhone when it's charging, make sure you remove that, especially while it's charging or just completely change to another case because battery getting really, really hot is really bad. It will damage the battery for the long run. It's really bad. It will damage the battery and of course will drop down the battery health quite, quite fast. And of course, you probably will see the maximum capacity here go down really fast and that will have a huge impact later on on the performance of your iPhone as well. Now, same as heat goes, it's the same thing for cold weather as well. So if you're on a place where it's really, really cold, try not to use your iPhone on cold because that will drain the battery a lot. That way you will have to recharge a lot. That way it will of course shorten the lifespan of your iPhone's battery. And of course, always make sure that you have optimized battery charging turned on. And then comes this pop-up right here, liquid detected in lightning connector. This happened to me a few weeks ago. I have it on a screenshot right here. So basically liquid has been detected, maybe like water. If you use your iPhone outside, maybe while it's raining or something like that, of course, water might get into the lightning connector here and that will be really risky. So it says here, disconnect and allow for the connector to dry. So that's what you should do. Don't try to charge your iPhone with this on of course anytime you see this pop up immediately disconnect your iphone and make sure you wait for a few hours before the iphone dries and then try it again if you see this again disconnect again and just wait for the iphone's lightning connector to dry because it will be really risky keeping it plugged in while it's liquid detected in the lightning connector and last but not least, I will show you guys a couple of tips that will help you charge your iPhone faster. One of them is of course using low power mode while charging your iPhone. The way to do that, connect your iPhone to charge, go to the control center, turn on low power mode, and you're good to go. Now, if you don't want to do that, you don't want to bother with it, you can go to the shortcuts app right here and then go to automations and then tap on the plus button. Create a personal automation right here and just choose here charger. So when the charger is connected, tap on the next button, search for low power mode. So here we have low power mode, tap right there, it's on. Click the next button, make sure you disable this and click done. Now, whenever you connect your device to charge, it will turn on low power mode automatically. So that way you don't have to bother doing it manually. Now, if you're on a case where you really need to charge your iPhone really, really fast, another way to do it is of course, turn it off completely. If you just need to really charge your iPhone fast, then just go ahead and turn it off completely. So it doesn't use any power at all. And of course we'll have like better, better charging speed, of course, if it's turned off and it doesn't use any power from the battery at all. Simply volume up, volume down, side button, and from here you can go ahead, turn off your device, and then charge it a bit faster. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. These are some really useful tips that will actually help you charge your iPhone the right way and maintain great battery health on your iPhone. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more videos. Make sure to leave a like on this one if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you on the next video.